What is up everyone, it's Zach here and I'm back again with another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about Nintendo Direct, we're going to be talking about my impressions on Animal Crossing New Horizons, we're going to be talking about some stuff that Sakurai said that's really interesting, we're going to be talking about some stuff that Emily Rogers was saying that was interesting, so without further ado, let's get into this video, we have a lot to talk about. So, first of all, let's talk about Emily Rogers. So Emily Rogers said this, my overall expectations for Switch software this year, good year to be a plumber, solid year to be an RPG fan, for it's the games like Xenoblade and Bravely Default too an ins insane year to replay old games such as hd remasters deluxe ports and remakes and it will be a decent year for more casual games like animal crossing so it sounds to me like emily rogers was alluding to some of the stuff that we will probably see this year which i think is a helpful tweet since you know we don't really know what to expect from nintendo this year and emily rogers basically was saying that you know we're gonna get some kind of mario experience this year probably a pretty good one if she's saying it's a good year you know what i'm saying this isn't gonna be no you know my Mario Tennis Ultra Smash kind of thing. I mean, oh, y'all, real ones remember how, oh, oh man, that was a bad game. But, um, <laughs> we, you know, we could probably expect to see a little, some, a little creme de la creme, you know, some of that ultimate, you know, goodness, like a, an Odyssey sequel or a Sunshine sequel or a Galaxy 3 or a Mario Kart or, or, you know, something, something substantial from the plumber that we all know and love. RPG fan, I mean, okay, solid year because of Xenoblade Bravely. Okay, she was saying that's gonna be insane for like old games. So I'm hoping this means like not only because she was saying like HD remasters, deluxe ports, remakes. I'm hoping we get some GameCube love. I don't know why Nintendo will remake and remaster every game except for a GameCube game. They will remake and remaster a DS game. They will remake and remaster a GBA, a, a Wii, anything but the GameCube. I don't get it. Like even 64, like every game other than GameCube gets remasters. Like uh, it's weird. It's weird. Please Nintendo, please show GameCube some love. Remaster sunshine this year you know what i'm saying um and i definitely expect to see like a 3d world port or something uh, to that extent this year and this is pretty cool i think it was just cool to see a little insight into what we can expect from nintendo in 2020 next off my friends so there is talks from Sakurai of you know who, Miss Rona. I'm not allowed to say her name apparently, so I'm just gonna say Miss Rona. You know who she is. She's sweeping the sweeping the world, sweeping the nation. I mean, <laughs> uh, she's kind of ruining everyone's lives, and it's not cute. But nonetheless, Miss Rona's on tour, and a lot of people are invited to it apparently. So Miss Rona is saying it, she, she's causing havoc, and Sakurai was saying that this this is what Miss Rona's been doing to uh, to him. So he's been saying. This is a highly confidential job, and because it's not like people can take it home and bring development material with them, honestly, work cannot progress because of you know who. So Sakurai right here, he's saying like, oh my gosh, like this thing, like because of the fact that our games can get leaked, I mean, everyone is wanting to know what we're gonna do next with our characters. We can't have people bring their, uh, you know, their development tools home. So they can only work in the office. And if you're having to stay home under quarantine, then this is gonna pause development and uh, like wreck havoc on the gaming industry. And I never thought of it that way. I always thought, well, it's a computer job so you could take it home, but maybe not in an industry like this where leaks can actually be something that you don't want um so that's kind of insane and sagar was also saying that it's affected business trips so he was saying in particular business trips for further away places have been nixed so for example nintendo headquarters is in uh, kyoto and sakurai he's he's in tokyo so and you know kyoto is around two hours away by bull train but he can't take the train because of the fact that domestic travel has been put on hold for the time being due to you know who and then he also said likewise visiting other companies has become difficult for me personally i was scheduled to go give a presentation at a publisher regarding a new fighter but it wasn't possible to get the necessary people together to meet so that's been indefinitely postponed so a whole business meeting with a third party dude like we could have gotten some kind of crazy new character or I in Super Smash Brothers from a third party that we were just gonna freak out over but he couldn't have a meeting over that so so now what's gonna happen you know what I'm saying like this whole thing and he was also saying moreover if someone in the office is found infected with the virus then I'd assume the entire building would need to be locked down and game development would cease entirely so that is freaking insane and then he said basically the novel Miss Rona has cast a large shadow over game development um, so basically Sakurai here is saying that Miss Rona it has completely you know 
like really hit the gaming industry and a lot of our favorite games you know not just smash fighters but a lot of our favorite games according to this info that sakurai is saying they're they're gonna get delayed we're gonna get a lot of delays this year and we might even see a delay of next gen you know like sony and microsoft's consoles i mean it is really looking like a lot of this year is going to get pushed back because of this virus and and that's absolutely insane you know it's already insane that it's you know affecting lives but it's also affecting you know not just lives but also you know game development and like games coming out so your entertainment right your movies are going to get delayed because of the fact that you know you can't go to a theater your uh you know video game or or people just can't shoot right they may not be done shooting their films so like they we can't you know we can't get our movies our games and stuff like that which would which, which kind of sucks, you know what I'm saying? Because then, you know, like, what do you do during quarantine? Um, I mean, Animal Crossing New Horizons is what you do during quarantine. But, but yeah, that was, that was a very interesting article from Sakurai. Finally, my friends, let's talk about what ties this all together, and that is a Nintendo Direct. So VentureBeat said this two weeks ago. The next Nintendo Direct is in the works. The publisher has not confirmed the event yet, but it's in its final stages of putting the video presentation together. That's based on what we're hearing as well as some other indicators. Expect a Nintendo Direct soon. The company is penciling in one of its indie showcases for next week, likely March 18th or around that week, which ended up being completely true because Nintendo announced a indie world event that actually happened on the 18th of march in japan um and then of course the 17th of march in the united states but that's not all they said after this that a full general direct will follow soon after the indie world event which will be the week of march 26th so this was confirmed. The Indie World event got announced. It got, you know, the, the date right. This the website was correct. They're one of the biggest, you know, websites out there. So this is a real credible source saying this. It's going to happen. And so I'm interested in seeing what Nintendo is going to bring to the table, especially with what Sakurai was saying about development being delayed, certain games. You know, he even said, like, I might not even be able to announce a Smash Fighter because of the fact that this is delaying stuff. So I'm interested in seeing what Nintendo brings to the table um, and just be on the lookout for that direct. Y'all, I just wanted to remind you of that real quick. I've said it a bit, but I just want to say that one more time. And, uh, dude, I cannot wait. I'll probably, you know, if the, if the event gets announced Tuesday, I'll do a whole presentation predictions video since everything has changed on that and it'll be really fun and chill um but now let's talk about animal crossing so Animal Crossing is how and whoa this game is good like honestly that my whole time making this video right I've been you know in my chair re-recording editing for like two hours now and I'm dying to finish this just to, like I love making videos I love y'all but I need to go back to playing Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch and that's on a period okay this game is insanely good it is it is so addictive it is so Oh my gosh, I can't stop playing it. I mean, I, I've been staying up to like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning every night playing this game. Now my sleep schedule's all messy. I'm trying to get it back on track because I want to wake up early and play this game as well. You know what I'm saying? Once I unlock the hourly themes, that's when I'll probably start doing it. But this game... Holy crap. What I love about it is that there's a billion things that you have to unlock from the beginning. But at the same time, there's a billion things to do from the beginning. And this is the perfect balance. This is what you would want from an Animal Crossing game. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, right away, you get a ton of stuff to do. You get to start customizing things right away. You get thrown into the action right away. But at the same time, there's a lot to look forward to. Every time you wake up, every time there's a new day, you're going to have stuff to look forward to. And I love, like, it's the best feeling. And y'all time travelers better be ashamed of yourself. Uh -uh. We will not be cheating people doing cheats trying to make infinite money time traveling We will not be doing that. We will not be doing that. What we're not going to do is that we're going to play this game legitimately Okay, and have a lot of fun um, But I'm really obsessed with this game. It's so much fun Everything was perfected man. The storage is better now the 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 whole crafting system Perfect perfect man. The nook miles is so addictive It gives you so much dopamine every time you freaking get a new like, you know Unlocking like thing and oh my gosh the new village every time I see a new village I get the buzz I'm like yo a new like, you know when I see someone that I actually want to recruit in my town yo, it, There's nothing better. There's nothing better than paying off your loan. I paid off my second loan like it is it is insane how good this game is the graphics are bro this game
game is one of the best games I've ever played. Like, this is already the funnest I've ever had with the new Animal Crossing. I cannot believe it. I, I can't, like, this game about to have 10 million hours into it. Like, I, oh, man, oh, man. And I named my town Light because I figured, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking about how the world is in darkness right now, right? And, like, sometimes, you know, there's points in your life where things are just dark. And, and, and I like to think, you know, Light, right, it represents all that is good. The sunlight, the daylight, stepping into the daylight. And like, you know, just being out of the dark clouds that were that were covering you, your soul and making you feel, you know, down. Like, that's what I, I kind of wanted this island to be like, you know, like a, a little bright, happy place to be in, you know, when, when things get rough. Whether it's in life or whether it's in the world or both or, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, that that's what I named my town. That's my reason behind it. My island, I should say. I'm always going to call it town because that's what the first three games were called. Um, so, yeah, that's those are my impressions impressions on Animal Crossing. I love this game so much and I, I fully recommend it and it's so good and I, I just yes yes so thank you guys very much for listening to me talk about Animal Crossing and like a billion other things in this video. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you next time. Talk to you later and bye bye. God bless.